Hi, my name is Colton Haney. I'm a technical specialist at ATG USA. And in this video, I'd like to show you how to add heating and cooling zones to your Revit project, which is necessary if you want to use Revit to calculate your heating and cooling loads. So to add zones, the first thing you will need to do is open a plan view that shows the spaces that you want to include in your zone. You can also create zones in a section view, which could be helpful if you have spaces on multiple levels that you want to include in the same zone. But for this example, all of my spaces are on the same level. Next, you will want to make sure that zones are visible in your view. To do this, open the visibility graphics dialog box by typing VG, expanding HVAC zones, and making sure that all of the options are checked. Now to start adding your zones, go to the Analyze tab, Spaces and Zones panel, and click Zone. In the Edit Zone tab, make sure that Add Space is selected, and start selecting spaces that you want to include in the zone. While the edit zone command is still active, go to your properties window and under identity data, type a name for the zone. Last, click finish editing zone. And now you've added a zone to your project. You can also very quickly add zones by selecting the spaces first. and then starting the zone tool. And here you can see that the name for the zone is created automatically based on the last zone created, and the numbering is done incrementally by default. To edit an existing zone, select one of the zone lines, then in the Modify HVAC Zones tab, Zone panel, click Edit Zone. The Edit Zone tab displays, which enables you to add or remove spaces. And that's all there is to it. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Thank you for joining, and be sure to stay tuned for more tech tip videos.